offer you? A piece of my plundered city? Mark my words, your only reward will be a knife in the back. <laughs> you know, I kind of believe you, but at the same time, Ryan, you're evil, so... Get out of here. Christ, what are rockets are making down there? If you search the core, then there's only one more task to be done. Head on back to Ryan's gate and throw the circuit breaker. That will let you right into his place. Uh. Uh. my physical defenses fall, do not defeat me. My strength is not in steel and fire, but in my intellect and will. You hear me, Abbott? Andrew Ryan offers you nothing but ashes! <laughs> Let's go! We're gonna go kill Ryan! Rapture Central Control. Atom is the canvas of genetic modification, but plasmids are the point. I hope I've been recording this whole time, or else I would be very upset. Sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. But know this. You are my greatest disappointment. Does your master hear me? Atlas? You can kill me, but you will never have my city! My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy! Get out of here. Final thing to discuss. <laughs> what? Ryan set the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk before the whole joint blows. Would you kindly? Advanced deployment, Lot 111, Dr. Suchong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Baby is now a year old, weighs 58 pounds, and possesses gross musculature of a fit 19 year old. The results are disappointing, but within expected tolerances. Did you talk to your party? She's very pretty. Thank you, Papa Sushan. Break her neck for me. What? Break that sweet puppy's neck. No, please. Break that puppy's neck. Would you kindly? No. No. Very good. Oh my god, they had that kid snap that dog's neck. That's fucked up. Assassin has overcome my final defense. 
And now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Stop, would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit, would you kindly? Stand, would you kindly? Run! Stop. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! A man chooses! Ryan got fucked up. So, I'm just gonna stop right here for a second. What Ryan just said is the iconic phrase of this entire game series. And before I walk into Ryan's office, because that'll launch me into a cutscene, that phrase has been interpreted a lot of ways. To it just being, oh, it's you, Jack, you're being controlled. But, some people have also interpreted it as, the players are Jack. And every game that you play, you think you have freedom, when in actuality, you don't. You're following secret objectives set by the game developer. So in every game you ever play, you are Jack, and you are being controlled by the game developers. Pretty deep, huh? Now, let's ransack Ryan's office. Okay, apparently all Ryan had was some money in his desk. Now let's put the key in and stop this madness. Shall we? Nice work. 
You're evil, aren't you, Atlas? little girl run faster Come with me. I feel like I just got tricked Olympus Heights? I just realized we're about 75% through the game. Hopefully. <laughs> and this is where it gets hard. Tannenbaum's safe house. Okay, did anybody else see that block hit like warp speed here and just disappear? Come with me. I swear I'm not going crazy. I swear. It's my candy bar now, girl. He's mean. Who's he? Stay away from him. Why do you look so angry, little girl? Why are you so angry? Well, I can kind of understand why she'd be angry at me. Kind of like killed all of her sisters. And now you've got hooked up with Tannenbaum, huh, kid? She's a regular mother goose. All right, fun's fun, kid. But now, go get stepped on by a big daddy. Would you kind? 
kindly. <laughs> Alright, let's go find a big daddy.